This is a compact Yomi production. When did it get so dark? I would have sworn it was midday. What's happening? My eyesight! Oh no! Samon! Help me! Hey! You! Take some of these! Who's that? Just take it and eat it! Thank you so much for saving me. You got lucky you found your way to my stall. You could have become the next item on some yokai's menu. What are you doing walking in the forest at night? I was just minding my own business when I saw a young girl in the forest. I thought she was lost so I wanted to help her. Next thing I knew I was the one who got lost. Oh, I see. Another outsider. Outsider? You're from the outside world, right? You were probably spirited away into this world, which is another way of saying kidnapped by Yukari. Yeah, that's right. I ended up in a strange world. That was like a year ago. A year of being here and still exploring unattended? You know there are yokai roaming around, do you? Especially on this night. Halloween. Halloween? You celebrate that here too? It's more like an influence. There's a strange link between the humans of the outside world and the yokai here that it transcends between borders. And it's because of that, Halloween is the day where humans are mostly afraid, thus amplifying a yokai's power, or something like that. Man, these UK sure pests, aren't they? I mean, they even look so human-like, until they show their fangs. Then they reveal their true, ugly selves. What a way to let your guard down to let those vile creatures devour you. You just never know when you'll run into those monsters. In fact, why are you even open on this night? Are you afraid of them coming to get you? Calm down. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not a feral yokai. Most of us have become civilized. We even walk among you in the human village in disguise. But perhaps the fear you had of me is justified. Not all yokai have left their wild ways. Like a friend of mine, which is the one you probably ran into. That's why you shouldn't be walking around alone at night, especially on Halloween, because I've heard stories. Stories of foolish humans not knowing any better and paying the ultimate price. The price you are about to pay just now. Some yokai take the appearance of children or young girls so that some unsuspecting victim can drop their guard. And I will tell you four instances of yokai taking that form so that you may avoid being their next victim. And my stories are more enjoyable with some fried lamprey. And something to drink. I told you that we were going to get lost. I thought this was a shortcut. Well, now it's gotten dark and you know how dangerous forests are. I should have just gone home instead of listening to you. If there's a well here, then there should be a village around. But this well, it looks abandoned. But there's a bucket with a freshly tied rope. Hey, there's a kid in the bucket. Oh, she looks so cute. What are you doing in there little girl? Were you stuck in that well? Hey, what about the girl? I got a bad feeling about this. Let's get out of here before something bad-
should have bought the grilled lamprey. How did it get so dark all of a sudden? I got to get out of here before I end up being eaten by a yokai, but I can't see a thing. Is that a kid? In a place like this? Hey, little girl, are you lost? Do you need help? Oh man, I knew I should have bought the grilled lamb prey. It's getting late. We better go home. Calm down. We're not that far from the village. Besides, isn't the valley beautiful at night? But a yokai can pop out of nowhere, you know. Stop acting like such a coward. You're a man, aren't you? Yeah, but... What's a little girl doing here? She must be lost. Maybe we should just leave her alone. We can't leave this little girl here all alone. We need to help her get back to her parents. But it looks like she wants us to leave her alone. Besides, there's something odd about her. How can you be so heartless? Don't worry, sweetie. We'll find your parents. Hey bro, let's check out the rest of the mansion. But we were warned not to trespass anywhere else. Besides, this place gives me the creeps. I heard there's a vampire living in here. Come on, aren't you curious about this large mansion? Maybe we can find the room where they store all their treasure. Treasure? Yeah, how want some treasure. Is the treasure in here? It could be. I saw a light. It might be from gold or diamonds glimmering. What is that thing? I think it's one of those television things that some outsiders talk about. Ooh, look. It's a little girl. How cute. It's the vampire. What? No, not this cute little girl. Take that road, and you should find your way back to the village. Thanks so much. If it wasn't for you, I would have been a goner. Sure, no problem. They never learn, do they? Walking aimlessly like they own the place. He was lucky that I noticed he was in real danger. But then again, I was the one who blinded him so that I could sell him some lamprey. Had I remembered it was Halloween, I would have refrained from doing so. After all, my friends are more active on this day.
Don't be too disappointed. Lots of people die on Halloween. Yokai are far more ravenous than usual on this day after all. You should be lucky you didn't run into a succubus or an incubus. Unless you're like me. In which case that was a missed opportunity. I mean if you're going to die by a fantastical creature, might as well go out with a bang. But still, you died, and now you're going to be judged by the Yama. I'm sure you're familiar with the judge of the dead. But according to this, you're from the outside world so you probably don't know who she is. But then again I believe there was a Yama on the outside world too. What was her name again? Judge Judy, or something like that. But in any case you're going to be judged for your actions back when you were alive. Which is all recorded on this app that I have on my hand. And boy Yama going to have a field day with you too. I hope for your sake you worshipped a goddess back when you were alive. I heard the Moria Shrine offers great legal representation upon your death. But let's see what we can look forward to on court day. Premarital sexual relations. Oh, the Yama is quite conservative. That's a big no-no in her book. Disobeyed parental orders. I bet you wished you listened to them now, don't you? Cross-dressing. Ooh, too bad. But hey, you got my support. And judging by the way your girlfriend is looking at you, she probably doesn't. As for the Yama, maybe you can get away by telling her it was ceremonial. She'll probably let it slide for that. Infidelity? One partner was not enough? You just had to have another man in your life? I guess we can apply that to the cross-dressing charge.
What happened to your arm?